What's up everybody and welcome back to FBA Hustle where we provide tutorials for beginner Amazon FBA sellers. I'm Jason and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about customizing your SKUs. So what's a SKU? A SKU is defined as stock keeping unit by Amazon. Um, each SKU needs to be unique or you don't have much of a choice, it is unique. And once you customize the SKU, or once Amazon provides you with the SKU, you cannot go back and change it. So it is permanent. So what are the benefits of customizing your SKU? Um, the way a lot of people use customizing SKUs is they're able to put in information that it wasn't intended to be in there, like um, the price of the item that you sourced the location for where you sourced it, who the manufacturer is, uh, just information like that. But in this tutorial, uh, what we use it for is to identify the cost, identify the location, and the date of purchase. Actually, we're not going to be showing the date of purchase. It's just um, another item in the SKU that you can put in that could be beneficial to you. And this is the format we like to use. Uh, we like to start off with the store name, with an underscore, and then the city. So this is basically retail arbitrage type um, formatting for the SKUs that we use. So store name, city, the price we paid, and then the current FBA price. So here's an example. Um, as far as store name, we put in Walmart, city, Honolulu, the price we paid $299 and the current FBA price $31.99. But really, it's it's all up to you. You can format it any way you choose. Uh, just format it in a way that makes sense to you. And for this portion, we're going to do a quick demo here. So I'm going to scan this item here. And I'll show you guys how to... Uh, to define a SKU, customize a SKU. Oh, by the way, we just got this headset. It's a wireless headset by Logitech. Looks like, hey, looks like I'm able to sell this, but I do not recommend it. Okay, so you want to click on list here in the bottom right corner. And then just fill in all the information the way you normally would. And then under seller SKU, this is where you can put in a customizable SKU. So going off of our example, we can put in Walmart. In this case, where we got it was Pearl City. We'll just call it Pearl. Doesn't really matter. And then we got this for, let's just say $19.99. And then the going FBA price was $37.98. And hit continue. And then hit submit your listing. But really, that's, that's really all you need to do to customize your SKUs. So it's really quick and easy, and I don't see a reason why not to do that. And that's all we got for now, guys. Uh, do us a favor. If you guys haven't already, join our Facebook group. The Facebook group name is FBA Hustle. And do me a favor. Like and subscribe this YouTube channel so we can provide... Well, we're going to provide more tutorials anyway. So we'd appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed it. All right? All right, guys. I'll see you, see you guys at the next tutorial.